Hey, Noah. What's going on, Noah? <laughs> Melvin and Joshua, good morning from Atlanta. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> You guys are in my neck of the woods. What's up? What's going on yeah. in Georgia? <laughs> wow. Yeah, a that's lot. A bunch. Yeah, a lot, right? A lot. <laughs> well, let's go back to where it all began for you both. I love hearing the backstories and really how musicians kind of got their start in this business. So, you know, when did you two find your love for music or do you actually feel, you know, music found you? Well, I actually started singing um, in music. I started at the age of seven years old. Um, just around the house, uh, just cleaning, and and, and uh, me and my sis sister and brothers were just playing around. My mom was cleaning, and it was a commercial that came on, and I just started singing that commercial, and everybody looked like, "You can sing, you can sing." Yeah. <laughs> and then from that, I started I, right. I started singing in church. Um, I started with the children's choir, to the youth choir, to the praise and worship leader, um, to the minister of music, one of the one of the minister of music at my church, and I'm just I'm grateful. So music has been there since seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about for you, Melvin? Like, when did you get started in knowing that you wanted to pursue uh, a career in the music biz? Um, I started singing at the age of two. I was two years old. Um, wow. I, you know, I remember um, kind of similar situation. Um, my parents were, you know, um, big influences in the gospel industry. Uh, my dad was a um, well-known organist. Um, and my mother was a well-known singer in the gospel industry. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, at home, we would, um, they would play, you know, some old VHS, because, you know, I'm young, but I, I still know what a VHS is. But, um, uh, you know, they would play uh, those uh, things of old recordings and different things like that. And, you know, I would just go around the house and sing. And same thing, they would look at me like, oh, okay. <laughs> so um, mm -hmm. I, when I was three, um, my parents um, got the opportunity to teach at a school over in Japan. And, you know, I was graced with the opportunity to go with them. Um, wow. And, you know, there, was, there, there were young kids that were my age, and I got to help my parents mm -hmm. teach the younger kids how to sing. So I was really, you know, start, I started singing around the age of two or three, and, and gospel music has just been with me. You know, I've been in church all my life, so... The Holy Ghost is in me. <laughs> well, thank you, Melvin and Joshua, for sharing that with us this morning. Uh, I, like I said, I love hearing the stories because they're so inspiring. Um, all right, well, you know, when getting on stage now to perform in front of a live audience, you know, what is the message you really hope to get across to your fans during, you know, each event or concert you perform in front of a crowd? Um, the, the message that I would want to get across, you know, it, it's that no matter what comes your way, no matter what comes your way, trust God always. If he has you yeah. in something, it's because he allowed it. He trusts you with it. He knows you before you even knew yourself. Yes. And, and if he has you in it, he's going to pull you out. You have to trust the process. Mm -hmm. he can, if he can pull me out of the fire with my messed up, wretched self, he can pull anybody out. Anybody. So that, that's what I, you know, we have to believe and trust in God. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, my last question for you both is, you know, where do you hope to see yourselves a year from now or even, you know, at the start of the 2020 year? Um, in a year from now, you know, I see myself, you know, traveling the world, traveling the world, spreading that same message that I just talked about. Um, you know, uh -huh. I, I want I want the world to know the God that I know, the God that came and saved me, because that man is 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 a, is a man that that can compare to nothing nothing and i and i want to minister his the gospel of jesus christ to the world that's where i see myself in a year in a year i see myself in a year from now pretty pretty much almost what he just said i see myself traveling the world and just talking about his goodness talking about how good he has been and how good he can be to maybe someone that feels hopeless and lost that to give the message of hope to give the message to let them know that regardless of what it is god is with you and he hears you I don't care. He, I don't care. He's with you. Yeah. What, what, whatever color, whatever nationality you are, Jesus Christ loves us all. And that's the message that I want to get across across the world within a year from now. That's where I see myself. That's right. Oh, I, I love these two already. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I want to hit the road with Melvin and Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Noah. Well, be yeah. sure to catch the final of Sunday Best. It airs Sunday, August the 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on Bat Network. Melvin and Joshua, enjoy Georgia, my neck of the woods. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Yes, we'll do. Thank we'll you so we'll much. Do. Thanks Thank for you. having us.
<laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. All right. You take too. care. Bye-bye.